Welcome to the Kern County Mapping Tool Demonstration. This is one way you can submit information on your community of interest and inform Kern County as to why your community should be preserved within one or more districts as they construct new boundaries this coming fall and winter. You can also submit information utilizing the Community of Interest form on the website by emailing the county or attending a public hearing. Information on these will be at the end of this video and they're on the website. Let's get started. When you open the Kern County Districtor page, this is what you will see. You will see a general description of what redistricting is and communities of interest. If you scroll down, you can click on this link to visit the Kern County redistricting webpage. If you keep scrolling, there's a section to start drawing your community of interest. So this map, and for District Air right now, we're in the phase of gathering communities of interest testimony. And um, later on in the process, District Air will also be used to create full maps, plans, and partial plans. We have a section for public gallery. So anytime a member of the public use, utilizes Districtor to submit their community of interest forms, they will appear in the public gallery section. There's a work in progress section. So if people wanna continue to work on their draft maps throughout this process, they will appear in works in progress. And there's a section uh, for about some more information on the Kern County staff team and the redistricting partners team. So we're gonna scroll back up and let's start uh, drawing a communities of interest. So this is purely for um, example purposes. This map that I'm gonna show you guys is not public testimony. It's just an explanation of how to use this tool. When we open up the map, uh, we will see a Kern the outline of Kern County. And you may be asking yourself, why is Kern County broken up in this specific way? What do all these gray lines mean? And those are census blocks. So when we think of redistricting and we think of the number one criteria, it's about creating a districts of equal population based on census data. So the census blocks are the smallest unit of census geography that we get that data in. So that's why a Kern County is broken up this way. On the left-hand side, we will see a search bar. So you can type in any location in the area and it will zoom into that area. I'll, we also see a zoom in and zoom out function and a function to reset the map to point north. The map will automatically be in the pan tool so we can use that to move the map around. We can zoom in and zoom out of a specific area. So we're just gonna pick this area up here. There's the brush tool, so it will uh, show you that you can grab a lot of census blocks, so you can grab 80 census blocks, or you can toggle this to the left and just grab one. There is the erase button, so if you wanna get rid of some census blocks in an area that you've drawn, you can click on that tool. And then the other tool is the inspector tool, which allows you to uh, hover over a census block and look at just some general information based on total population, Hispanic and black and Asian population. So let's start drawing some communities of interest. So in order to do that, you just click on areas of the county and when you want to change colors, and again, you can create as many communities of interest as you would like, you click on this plus button and you can keep gathering some census blocks. And you'll see that you're able to overlap your communities of interest. So we have some yellow, some green now, and some blue communities of interest. You're able to do that in the district or community of interest tool because we know that some community areas overlap with one another. You will not be able to do this function in the district or tool for drawing partial plans and full plans. And you will also have a set number of districts that you'll be able to create in the district plan. But for communities of interest, you can overlap and you can add as many as you would like.
If you don't want to overlap those districts, then you click on the lock button and now we will not be able to uh, overlap with an area. You can go down to this um, area called name and name your community of interest at any time when you are doing this process. So we're going to name our area. And you can add more description into this box. You can tell us about your community. You can uh, explain to it why you believe that the Kern County Board of Supervisors should keep it together. You can explain the relationship that you have with neighboring areas, whatever you would like the board to understand uh, for this geography. We also know that communities of interest can be specific locations. So they can be a location where neighbors think of it as an amenity. So a park or a recreation center that folks use, but that location could also be seen by other neighbors as being a nuisance. So if there's an area that um, there are conflicting communities of interest testimony, or if there's a specific location across the county and you'd like to note that you can do that by scrolling down to the important places button like clicking on this blue button that has a pin drop and now we'll be able to pick a specific location in the county so we're just gonna zoom in click a couple points and two we can add as many locations as we would like using this tool the difference that we see here is that all of the points that you create will always be red dots. So um, when you hover over them, it'll if you give you the name of those dots. And so we're going to go ahead and change those names. So we're going to do that for this first point here. We're going to name it whatever we would like, adding a description. And you can add more description down here as well. If you would like to get rid of a specific point, then you can click on this uh, trash can button and the point will go away. We have another tab that shows data layers. So we have the boundaries of some cities. So we have the city boundaries of Kern. You can also see a population based on race. We have the total population of the county. You can see the Latino population, the black population, and the Asian population. We also have the citizen voting age data. And this is the data set that is used for Voting Rights Act districts. So you can click on that and see where that population lies. You also have the ability to create a coalition district. And the final tab is the evaluation tab. So we have this where it compares the communities of interest that you created to the county of Kern as a whole. We know that community to create a communities of interest, to give your testimony on them, you do not need census data. Uh, so we see this tab most often being used when districtors being used as a partial plan or a full plan. But you can definitely look at this evaluation data if you would like. Now to save your plan and to share it with other people, you're going to click on the save button and out would pop another window that will allow you to share your communities of interest map to the gallery. So if we remember that initial page for Kern County, there's that section of shared maps. Here is where you would do that by clicking on this green button. And if you'd like to name it, that'd be really helpful. Um, if not, there will be a specific map ID to all maps that are submitted. And if you'd like to save it as a work in progress, then you click on this work in progress button and save it as a draft. You can also share your map by copying this URL um, and copying that in a new window. You can also share your map plan and print it as a PDF. So print out flyers of it, share with other community members. And you can also uh, download the map files as a shape file and add it into another mapping software. So you can look at it on other software such as Maptitude or other Esri platforms. 
So this is the Districtor Community of Interest tool for Kern County. And we look forward and hope to see as many communities of interest and have that section be populated. So please use this, share this with your neighbors, and we look forward to looking at your testimony. For more information on how to get involved, check the Kern County redistricting website at this address. Here, you can find out how to get involved in the process of redrawing your supervisorial districts. From the website, you can find the schedule of hearings, submit testimony by emailing the county, fill out a community of interest form, and find the link to the mapping tool so you can draw your community of interests.